you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, but as time goes on, you turn your back on him and choose to live in sin, do you still keep your salvation and go to heaven? If you don't know him and don't live for him, then how will he know you in heaven? She references, or he references, Hebrews 10, 26 through 29. That is such a good question, but I think it, that the person answered the question within the question. If I break a relationship with you, you're not allowed in my house anymore. And basically what Hebrews 10, 26 through 29 is saying is that before there was the law, it only took two to three witnesses to sentence you to extermination from the family of God. But now that we have the grace that sustains us and gives us the power to obey the word, how much more do we trample dirt through the blood of Jesus Christ? So after you refuse the sacrifice that was offered for you, there is no more sacrifice for your sin. There's an account of some people who were doing ministry who approached Jesus at the end and said, we cast out demons in your name, we did this in your name, and he said, depart from me, ye evil workers of iniquity, I knew you not. Entrance into heaven is based on relationship with the Father through the Son. If we sever that relationship because we no longer pay attention to or adhere to or surrender to the Word of God, we have broken relationship. Relationship has been put in place for you by the blood of Jesus through having an intimate relationship with Him. That intimacy should have a transformational effect on you. There is no way, it says in uh, another portion of scripture, that you can know Him and continue sinning on purpose. You see, there's three levels there. Uh, sin is just when we miss the mark. It's based on even our gene pool from Adam and the fall. Transgression is when we deliberately cross that line. Iniquity is when we no longer care. Our conscience is seared and we just do things without giving any credence to the Word of God whatsoever. Now the grace of God is not just the grace of salvation. The grace of God is the grace that empowers us to do what God asks us to do. He doesn't ask us to do anything that we can't possibly do. So when we consider the fact that we now know God and love Him, that should change our mind and renew our spirit. It says if any man is in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things pass away, all things become new. So no matter what persuasion we are, once we come to Christ, a transformation should take place that makes us want to live to serve Him and please Him. If we don't feel that way, then we have to check our heart condition and ask ourselves, are we truly in relationship? You know, when we talk about relationship with God, there's a difference uh, between knowing about someone and really knowing them. When we know about them, it's not enough to make us want to change for that person. But when we intimately know them and love them, we have a tendency to want to please them. And that means changing mindsets about things, changing attitudes and habits. Uh, the way we conduct ourselves. If you think about just the relationship between two people who meet, who fall in love, they change things about themselves to accommodate and please the other person in their lives. So consider your heart when it comes to God. How much do you love Him? Do you love Him enough to want to change your ways, to be in alignment with His Word, and to be pleasing to Him? And I'll just leave you with this question. Do you allow strangers to enter your home? No relationship, no entrance. Hey, if I've managed to bless you today, why not subscribe and share this with someone else? Someone else needs to be blessed. Don't forget to follow me on my other platforms as well, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. See you there.